Hello techies, welcome back to our channel UI Path by Sujita. In this video, we are going to uh, practice uh, using UI, uh, sorry, uh, web browsing using for each UI element activity. So far, we have uh, learned about UI automation, web automation, and uh, so a few videos using for each UI element activity, right? So this video is going to be a full practice session on the usage of for each UI element. So if you have not yet watched our previous videos on um, web browsing or UI automation, please go and watch all those videos related to uh, UI automation as well as few videos on for each UI element activity. So now let us dive into this so for each UI element. We use this activity when we want to iterate the same uh, when we want to perform the same set of activities, same set of actions on a list of ui elements fine now let me show you a demo so that you can understand this concept very well also this video is going to be a web browsing related so i'm going to work on a website in order to perform same similar set of uh, actions on a list of ui elements for that i'm going to use for each ui element so our agenda is open a browser and it should be a Chrome browser. Then open www.uipath.com. Then find all the items in the menu bar in uipath.com website. Then highlight every item in the menu bar and hover over to it. Okay. So this is our agenda for today's session. Now quickly go to your studio. I have created a sequence. I hope you have uh, you are practicing this along with me so i suggest you to please do this activities whatever i am showing it here along with me so that you can understand the concept very well just watching a video may not give you a full-fledged knowledge rather practicing makes man perfect right so let us um, uh, have created a sequence and i just renamed this uh, renamed the activity as well as I have provided an annotation, okay, with the details. So it is the best practice always to provide the annotation wherever it is needed and to rename the activities whenever you are using an activity accordingly, okay. So now our first point is to open a browser. For that, I'm going to use use application browser activity, which is going to open a browser, okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just... Uh, indicating this browser so that it will automatically open from the next time so it is taking it is considering www.uipath.com and if you go to the properties of this activity you you could see something called a browser sorry something called resize window where you can maximize the window okay so that's it our browser is ready now we are supposed to get this menu items right for that what I'm going to do I'm going to use for each UI element activity just drag and drop to this and indicate use this indicate in Chrome and start indicating your UI element this is our result right to uh, know more details about how to use this for each UI element, you can watch our previous video on for each UI element especially. Okay. So use this add UI element, click, then select one element in this menu so that it will automatically check. See, it is automatically considering all the similar UI elements. Fine. Fine. Just confirm it and then save it. Fine. So whatever or relevant all these been saved considered as UI elements. Okay. Now we are going to perform the similar actions on each of these UI element. Okay. For that what I am going to do. I am going to. What is our next step? We are supposed to highlight every item and then hover. For that, let us use highlight activity. Fine, this is one. This is the one. Just drag and drop inside for each UI element. 
okay now let us just indicate one element which needs to be highlighted so that we'll get a selector and we can make that sign uh, i mean uh, we, we can change that selector modify that selector accordingly fine confirm okay now just go to your targeting methods and use strict selector and modify this strict selector accordingly if you see here a name is platform which is nothing but the label name of this menu item fine now instead of platform if i want the other items also to be selected this needs to be this particular a name value this attribute value needs to be dynamic right we have already learned about the dynamic uh, selectors concept if you have not yet gone through those videos i request you to please go through those selectors video dynamic dynamic selectors video the way different ways to uh, make selectors dynamic all those will uh, all all those can be learned using through those uh, videos please go through those videos as well okay so now i am going to make this dynamic okay for that just remove this and use control key you could find something called current element underscore label just select this what is this variable i'll show you i'll show you just select this okay go to variables you could see this as string and this is as ui element let us see from where we got this under for each element as soon as you uh, select all the ui elements it has automatically considered all the ui elements similar ui elements which be created fine where you could see here using config filter and if you if you uh, just try to indicate it again edit configuration you can see something called current element fine when you use preview you can get all the element item items which been selected fine so this is what we are traversing through so we are iterating through each of these elements in for each loop okay now let me just close this this is what we have passed into the selector as to make to make it dynamic enough to make this selector dynamic okay now let me use hover the other activity so highlight is done right so hover so i am going to hover through each element for that similarly just select one element give it anchor confirm fine now go back to our selector strict selector and make it dynamic because it is by default it has taken a static value right of that particular label just remove this use control k and select the element label name okay confirm so each time when we are iterating through all these elements these values will be replaced these values will be passed dynamically to the selectors okay now let us just save this close our browser and let us see how it is going to work okay fine let me quickly run this file i hope you are doing this along with me so it is going to open a uipath.com browser in a chrome yeah in a, yes in a chrome browser uipath.com website been opened maximized and if you could see platform solutions been selected highlighted and then hover okay resources been highlighted and hover partners been selected and hover then company been selected so this is how it is it is very simple right if you know the concept this is very very easy to iterate through number of ui elements to up to perform the same kind of uh, activity same kind of operations actions on multiple ui elements using a simple a single 
activity that is for each ui element i hope you got a clear understanding on the usage of this activity if you want to know about the wizard how to use this wizard and um, multiple options available in this wizard i'm talking about this wizard so if if you really want to do uh, go through this you can go through the ui path uh, documentation and also similar uh, knowledge can be uh, attained obtained from our videos on for each ui element thank you so much for your support so far meet you through our next videos till then happy learning and happy automating bye bye